Hello, g'day, welcome to one and all. Back to you, Dean Malila. Today, we're not going to bring you a double. We're not going to bring you a triple. We're bringing you a quadruple header. Pfft. It's the final day of season two, the regulation season. We've got four massive games, and I couldn't not bring them to you. Let's get into it. Come on, vamos! <laughs> Yes, hello again. That is right. Look at this. Look at this. Right. So we are second in the table. The title race heads to title race. <laughs> title race sounds nice. The title race heads to the wire. Malila in second. The boys in second. Cultural Leonessa, who have been phenomenal this season, in first. Everything is equal. I still don't know how it works, whether it's goal difference or not. But we'll, we're just going to find out on the fly. The last four games of the season are, are, are upon us, and I'm going to show you all of them. Most likely be in two episodes, but we'll show you all of them, definitely. First up, we have Vetusta, then Rapido de Buzas, then a massive, massive game against Cultural Leonesa, and then Inter Madrid. We've got a relatively favourable draw. It's not a draw, a set of fixtures. Cultural Leonesa have the tougher let a lot of fixtures but they have just been in such good form that it is going to come down to us and them i think that trip away to san sebastian at the on the last day of the season for them may be a, a tricky one and maybe a uh, a glimmer of hope for us but it's going to be nervy it's going to be tight i hope you enjoy it with me let's get into the first game just uh, quickly guys we had a youth intake um it wasn't the best it wasn't as good as uh, last seasons, um, but it looks like, yeah, we've signed. Uh, I've just asked the director of football to sign the the, the ones that he likes, um, and we've just signed these three here. Uh, Cristobal de Diz was the um, <laughs> the best uh, of the bunch. Um, see, interesting to see when he was in this list here. Um, he was a a one star. Um, but now, because he's been actually signed, he's gone down to two grey stars. So very interesting how that that can play uh, can play with you as well. Um, but yeah, we've signed Crystal Cristobal Diz, one one Luis Gomez, and Jacob Criado. Yeah, I mean pretty average, right? Jesus Maria Pizza. I'm actually going to sign him as well because I I like to have a bit of a range of nationalities in my in my squad, and that's basically he's been signed because he's Andorran. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Maybe another Uruguayan as well. Why not? It's only the the youth team. <sighs> right. Well, I hate getting news before massive games. I honestly do. Oh, honestly, it's been such a roller coaster of a few episodes, and I, players coming at me unhappy is f me off so much. The reason you're not playing is because Tony Cock is doing a better job than you. Why can't I say that to him? Yeah, that. I'm not interested in your excuses. I just want a fair chance. I'm willing to make my life, make life very difficult for you in order to get the move I need. So you, okay. There we go. He wants to be sold. Hands in transfer request. All right. See you, mate. Bit of a shame, really, because he's not a bad backup. Transfer, transfer list. Get the f*** out. Right. All right, no distraction. <laughs> I've had a distraction in the run-in. Um, not a good sign early. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you've been enjoying the uh, the series so far. It's been so enjoyable. It's been so fun to make, and um, I feel this this season especially has been a, a lot of highs, but also some crazy, crazy lows as well. And I I'm expecting the same in the last four four matches. So, yeah, I'm hoping you're looking forward to this run-in. Um, and definitely let me know how you feel. Um, give it a like as well, support, um, and uh, and share it around. Yeah, because it really helps. And, um, and uh, yeah, and, and I'd, I'd really appreciate it. But uh, let's just get into it. Let's get into it. The team are here. The team are here. I've got some tired players, unfortunately. But, uh, okay, so this is the Vetusta game. 
So they're 20th in the league. I think I can afford to make a couple of changes. Now, when I say a couple, I mean a couple. So Donut, for one, for Ponce, is risky, but it's going to happen. Trimmy is tired as well, and I need him for the more important games. So I'm going to pop Chakaroma in as well, which I'm completely fine with. Robles and Chakaroma haven't played much together, but they will be, they'll be fine. Uh, Atoye is tired as well, so I'm going to pop in Carlos Gonzalez. I want him to do something, which would be absolutely lovely if he could. Uh, and then... I might put Mizoki on the bench for Donut, and I think we'll leave it at that. Paula Koku, will he come on? Yeah, Julio Alonso is coming off, considering he's unhappy. And we're going to leave it at that. I may actually pop Munt to see if Farrah in for Milsey, because Milsey does need a... He, he needs to watch his uh, watch his legs, the, the poor old bastard. Especially if we, you know, have... Well, we, we're definitely having a, a playoff run in as well. So, yeah, so it's got to be more games added on top of these four. So we need to... Rest the boys when we can. And I'm going to leave it at that, I think. Again, I'm not getting the best out of my wingers. And I don't really know what to do. Yeah, that's really, really confusing me. Maybe if we just put them on normal wingers, Judy, so they're happier, but still play fairly narrow. Or like very narrow. So they're, they are basically in. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll give it a go. It's for Tuesday, so we can afford to kind of uh, experiment a little bit. Um, I'm also going to rest... Rame. Espinar is too important to me to rest, but Danzo, I want him to get a bit of match fitness before the run-in as well, so that's the reason for that one. Um, but I think, apart from that, we are good to go. Yeah, come on, boys, let's go. Let's really, really show what we can what we can do here. All right, we line up as follows. A challenge in goals, Tony Cock on the left, Chak Roman Robles at centre-back, Ponce at right-back, Farah in the Millsy spot, Danzo and Espinar in the middle, Gonzalez and Higon on the wings, and Fernandez up front. Here we go. They're playing a quite a defensive formation, uh, a 4-1-4-1. Uh, let's have a look at their key player. Rosada, yeah, he's not that great, is he? Teles, he's okay, but not, not the best. Yeah, they, they're rock bottom 20th have been awful this season, so if we don't win this, it's going to be... Um, Say teacups are going to be thrown. Let's just say that. Yeah, I agree. Pick up where you left off, boys, and passionately have faith. Yeah, everyone loves that. Uh, Carlson is already happy. Let's just get into it. Now, I'm also going to, when I get another highlight, going to pop in the latest scores as well so we can check the cultural Leonessa results and the Nemancia results as well as we have a highlight. Tony Cock throws it long to Danzo, knocks it down. Tony Cock, he gone. And we're 1-0 up within 10. That's the start we needed. That's the start we needed. Well done, boys. Well done. Good start. This good throwing, uh, good throwing routine here. I haven't got any setup, but it's worked out quite well. So Danzo using his physical ability. And Hegon has got a, a few headers this season. Obviously, we all remember that one against Real Batiste. <laughs> but that's a really good start, boys. Well done. Okay, let's... Okay, we've got a highlight. Oh, it's offside. That's a shame. Robles puts it in from an Espinar free kick. The keeper should probably do better there, but we don't go 2-0 up. But I do want another goal cushion before half, if preferable. Nah, I mean, we're really comfortable, but we're not creating anything really, are we? One shot on target's not good enough for, for me. And I'm going to give him a little berating at half time as Cultural Leonessa are 2-0 up at Harrow. I mean, that's not not really the result we want there either. Aggressive? No, that's not good. assertive. Don't get complacent out there, and they love that. That's actually uh, the best team talk that I could have done. All right, here we go. Second half, and it's, it's so tight. I haven't had a run-in like this for a while. Now, this is brilliant. Brilliant uh, action. As I think it's our corner, it is. Vespinar swings it in. Chakaroma on it, and he scores! Get in! A massive, massive goal. Puts us 2-0 up, gives us a cushion. I know it's only Batusta, 
but I didn't want any any funny business, and that's uh, what we needed. Taking advantage of our of our set piece uh, capabilities, Chakaroma does well. All right, things are going really really well. As we have another highlight, I may make a change after this. Danzo knocks it down to Espinar really nicely. Gonzalez, Farah in a deep position, who plays a lovely ball to Tony Cock. He cuts it to Gonzalez, who beats his man. He hits it far post, and Higon hits the bar again. How many times has Higon hit the bar? Unlucky boys, good play, which I am going to make those subs now. All right, Paul Okoku is going to get a bit of match fitness, even though I hate his guts. And Mizoki is also going to get some match fitness as well. And that's that's going to be it for now. I may bring on John Miranda for Higon or Gonzalez in a little bit. But here we go with Ponce to Farah. Ponce again. He's played well. Farrow, good ball to Espinar. Drifting through the middle as he does. Him and Danzo connect. That looks like a foul there on Espinar. But we play on. Tony Cock heads it down to Gonzalez. A lovely little build up from us here. Can he cross it? Gonzalez does to Higon. And he hits it over the bar. Higon at the far post. Always dangerous. We have another set piece here. Oh, that's not that can't be the highlight there. As Jimenez comes out and clutches the ball to his chest, he uh, looks to play out here, but he hits it long. It should be ours, and he's hit it. Yeah, he's hit it to absolutely no one. As Chakaroma heads out there and covers, and Ak Paul is is an interesting name. Akuku is his name, I thought. Farah Ponce, they're in a weird position here. Ponce, Akuku. A cuckoo. Oh no. Concierge Chow. A shell and gathers just. I mean, that's a poor save, but a cuckoo has come on and not done what I've wanted. Just be a safe, calm centre back, and he's tried to play out, and he's got caught, and that's not really, you know, what I want, especially from a centre back who's quite disillusioned with me. Uh, Johnny Miranda's going to come on. Higgins a little tired. So he's just going to come on. He's going to come on as an inside forward up there. I don't, I don't know if this narrow formation, very narrow formation, has actually worked quite well. Um, as they've got a free kick. Oh, what's happened there? Challen's come out and missed it. Yeah, we're not. We haven't been convincing this match, have we? As the game ends, two nil. I mean, yeah, it was convincing enough, but wasn't as convincing as I would have liked to have been. But three points, you can't complain with momentum there. We've had some really good ratings there uh, in the, in that middle section of our team. Danzo getting a seven as well, which I'm ecstatic about. Yeah, appreciate our efforts, but we do uh, can't get complacent, and people have got a bit demotivated there. All right, I've fixed it a little bit. Yeah, I, I'm fixing it. It's fine. Okay, with the Nomancia securing a playoff spot as well. Yeah, Chakra and Ron four. Well done, mate. Defensive work was superb. Excellent stuff, mate. Look at the green there. Look at that. We haven't conceded a goal. Two, three, four, five in six matches. <laughs> I can't believe I've just said that. I shouldn't have said that. The FM gods are not going to be shining upon me after saying that. Oh, you haven't conceded a goal in six matches, Luke. Ha, well, hold my beer. Hold my beer. 3-0 loss to Rapido de Buzas. Yep. I've called it. I've called it. Yeah, we're still neck and neck here. We need cultural Inessa to, to slip up. <sighs> okay. Come on, boys. On to Rapido, who are fighting for their survival, which isn't great either. Uh, a couple of records. Melilla break consecutive consecutive wins record. Seven games in a row. Six games without conceding, as I mentioned. And record high points total for Melilla as well. So we're breaking records left, right and centre. We've got a big gap between matches. I think the Copa del Rey semis and stuff are on this weekend. Now, although it doesn't matter too much, like because winning the league doesn't actually mean we get automatically promoted. I think it just gives us a bit of an advantage, I think. So it's important, you know... It's got to be so tough to get through these pl these playoffs as well. Ah, uh, yes, the, the Copa del Rey final it is, actually. Um, is it? Yeah, it is. Atletico v Real Madrid. Huge one. Oh, a massive, massive result. What a match that would have been. Bale, Jovic and Casemiro getting the goals for Real Madrid 3-2. Well done, Real. Well done, mate. Right. 
yeah, I know. First issue, I've changed my shirt. Reason being, halfway through filming, I was summoned to make a pizza dough. So I made a pizza dough and uh, got a white powder on my other shirt. Um, not that white powder, obviously. Second issue is uh, I've had to close the window and the blind so the light's different. And third issue is with Giovanni. <laughs> now, Giovanni, uh, he, just, a, just a B team player. Uh, Mark Miller, this has happened between Vetusta and now. This has happened three times with B team players. And I've just gone, Marky, Mark Milligan, resolve it, please, for me, mate. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. See you later, mate. Uh, and Giovanni no longer wants a new deal. Marky Mark is my man. I don't know why I didn't, didn't do this the whole time. Right. So after this hiatus that you won't know happened, um, we're back to the, the, the football. We're away to Rapido de Buzas, another huge game. Cultural Leonessa are below us there. They play after us. They are home to Guigello. And also Nemancia are at home to Burgos. So Burgos could do us a favour here by knocking Nemancia out of the running a little bit more. Yeah, it is tight and it's so nerve-wracking. Come on, boys. Well, okay, Burgos have taken a point from the game against Nemancia, which does help us uh, quite a bit. Um, uh, the other results don't really matter. It's our turn now. Team selection. Here we go. Right, I'm going to bring in my main men again. Yeah, Rame in. Milligan. Uh, Donut back in as well. Ponce is going to come on the bench. Primi, of course, is going to come back in as well for Robles. And, you know, I'm going to leave Mizoki on the bench. Yeah, I've, I'm happy with what I've got out wide. Miranda's my cover out there. Yeah, we should be all right. All right, we're going to stick to this narrow style, I think, and with my wingers because they're just happier. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. Um, we may change it up, but... All right, let's go, boys. Come on. All right, we line up as follows. A challenge in goals. Tony Cocker at left back. Chakaroma at centre back. Primi as well with him. And I've just noticed there that Tony Cock and Primi are in yellow cards. I really can't afford them to be suspended for the next match. But now I've said it, it's going to happen, isn't it? <laughs> Donut at right back. Milligan in his millsy position. Rame and Espinar in the middle. Gonzalez and Higon out on the wings. And Fernandez up front. They're playing a 4-2-3-1 formation. I don't know too much about them, to be honest. Carlitos is, looks pretty good up front. Should just mark him out of the game, hopefully. Uh, Gori, he's, I mean, average. Backer, average. Ruben, low bravery, so we may target him, actually. Yeah, he, he doesn't look like he would get forward much. Barbieto. May, I may target Ruben and the centre-backs who can't play out very well. Yeah, definitely going to target Pablo. And so these three here I'm going to target now. I'm just going to put some opposition instructions on. Team talk, passionate. I expect nothing but a win to keep our run going. Calm faith. And it's all green apart from Gonzalez, but that's fine. I'm going to ask him to put some uh, feet, uh, instructions as well. But I am also going to do a couple too. So we've got um, Ruben, tight marking and pressing always. I'm not going to do hard tackle. I'm going to show weak of foot. Carry dead always, always, and show onto weak of foot. Pablo, same and same. All right, it's a little tactic I've, that has worked for me in the past. So I'm going to hopefully that uh, creates something for us. All right, go on, boys. We've got to. Highlight early. Espinel with the free kick. Far post, Tony Cock. <sighs> Heads it over. And we're also looking at that cultural Leonessa game as well in the bottom right corner. As we started, okay, but limited highlights early on. We have one now, however, as cultural Leonessa have gone 1-0 up. He gone? He gone scores! Yes! Get in! Assist by Tony Cock. I was looking at the result down in the right corner. But that looks like it's a bit of a mistake at the back there. Tony Cock with the throw. Fernandez lays it back. Lovely. T yeah, Tony Cock just whips it in. Yeah, it's a misheader or miscommunication. Keeper's nowhere to be seen. And he gone. Easiest finished. Easiest finish of his life. And we're going to keep it going now, lads. Keep it going. 30 gone. Things are going pretty well. 
Possession 70%, shots 8. Two on target. Would like to create a little bit more if we can, possibly. Oh, here we, here we go. Espinar. Primi. Espinar to Primi. It's his eighth goal of the season. Another assist by Danny Espinar. It's just quality from him. And that's how we score a lot of goals. Taking advantage of set pieces. And his set piece ability is just fantastic. Premier at the far post. That's happened a few times this season. And another centre-back getting a few goals this year. Yeah, he's onside. Don't worry about it. Right, 2-0 up. A lot more comfortable now as that should be half. And it is Millsy on a yellow card. I'm going to get Premier and Tony Cock off. Definitely. Passionate. And very happy with the way things are going. Keep it up. I just have to. I, I can't afford to lose him. Maybe Tony Cock less so. <sighs> I just don't want to get him a yellow card. Uh, right, he's coming off. Sorry, mate. But it's just yellow card reasons. Uh, I don't have a left back on the bench. That's a, an issue for me, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Because I can't really take him off, can I? Right, I'm just going to tell him to ease off tackles, I think. Um, and leave it at that. Please, ease off tackles. All right, there we go. Milligan's going to come off at 60 as well. Can't afford him to get suspended. A few boys looking complacent, but... Yeah, we have won a lot of games in a row, and it does happen when you're that com uh, confident. Millsy's coming off. Well done, Millsy. Did I just say we went to first then? Did I just see that? 70 gone. Give me a highlight so I can check the score. 70 gone. I'm just going to let it slide here. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Cultural Leonessa. Gugello have equalised against them. So we're in front by two points. <sighs> All right, let's let this run out. We've got a highlight here. Tony Cock whips it, whips it far. Oh, Pablo struggled there. Gonzalez regathers. He whips it far again and he's gone on his head. Good save by the keeper, I think, actually. Keeps it out on the line. As Don't be a, don't be a counter-attack. Rashiti with the ball. As Farah's has chased him down unsuccessfully. Donut with a huge challenge. What a tackle, son. Mzoki on. Fernandez off. Just a bit of fresh legs up there. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Guigello. Come on, Guigello. Guigello, Guigello, Guigello. As the game's over. Right, we, that was regulation win from us. Now we do. Assertive. Well done, lads. Good win for us. Continue. Let's check the results. Where are we? Oh, a second, I think. Oh, no, we're not. Yes! Oh, they lost, did they? Oh, my God. Gugello scored an 87th minute winner. We've got three points ahead of him. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Gugello. Well, that was Leoness's first. Well, first and only goal. And Guigella's equaliser. Aguido, good finish. And then 87th minute. Oh, it's just a counter-attack. They put three up front. You jammy, 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 jammy goal. Mito. <laughs> they put three up front. Away from home against top of the league while they were drawing. That is ballsy, Guigello. You are my favourite Team second to Malila. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's just check if there's any suspensions. I don't think there is. No, there's not. Fantastic. Two home games to finish the season. We are on top by three points. We play Cultural Leonessa next. Three points behind us. If they win, I think they go on top of us because of their goal difference or something. And then Inter Madrid at home to finish the season. This next episode is going to be with you the same day so if you're watching it the day it comes out just wait an, another hour or so and you'll be able to see the uh the, the the run in look at that green run there look at that green another game with no conceded it is getting very how's your father down there right boys and girls thank you for watching join me for the next episode for the last two games of the regulation season and join me for the playoffs as well it's going to be it's going to be exciting don't forget to like subscribe and share it around i'm really really enjoying this running it's it's so tense i hope hopefully you feel the same
and we'll definitely see you soon for more.